Don't let the sketchy start of the video lure you into skipping it. Keep watching for a rather interesting surprise at the end. Maybe whoever's under the blanket had a green screen suit on. But why can't we spot any signs of editing in that same area where the blanket was? Could this footage be the result of a little acting and editing? Or did we just witness a ghost cosplaying as a... ghost? Let us know what you think in the comments. TikTok user Taylor Frankie Paul seems to be living the life. Big house, happy relationship, wonderful kids. But when you live in the American dream, the last thing that you expect is a hearty splash of poltergeist activity. She started noticing things were moving on their own. Taps were switching on and off, light fixtures were swinging around, and commenters were rightly suspicious as to why she was recording herself at such conveniently spooky times. But as it turns out, she caught all of this footage on her pre-installed house cams, and we can only imagine that flicking back through the footage was like watching her own personal horror movie. The poltergeist had solely been causing chaos in the background, right up until this video was posted, where it decided to get up close and personal. At first she thought it was her kids pulling her hair, but she soon realised that there was nobody behind her. And Taylor is either a fantastic actress, or she genuinely can't take this anymore. That scream didn't sound fake. And yeah, a gentle breeze could have knocked a flimsy cereal box over, but why did it make such a loud noise when it fell? It must have fallen with some force, almost as though somebody pushed it. And how on earth is the light fixture swinging? Well, if it's leaving the fridge open, turning on the tap, and asking for a bowl of cereal in the morning, she may as well start charging it rent. Ever left your stuff sprawled all over the floor? This clip will probably motivate you to clean up a little. Talk about kicking off your Sunday shoes. A huge shout out to our viewers, Tiffany Medina and Stephen Majeski for sending us this clip. Have you ever wanted to investigate an unsolved cold case? Well, that's exactly what YouTube channel Adventures With Purpose specialise in. 
Although sometimes their investigations take a sinister turn into the paranormal. You know, all these cases are very sad, you know, but when you get a, a mom who left her three children and husband to go Christmas shopping. Yeah, for something that's, good. That's, that's very, uh, it's very heartbreaking. You know, they all are, but this is tough to hear, you know, a mom trying to go out and do something good. Had, you know, never try, been, yeah, just trying never to been heard from again. I feel, I feel good about searching this though. Yeah. This, I mean, it all makes sense. Like I said, this, got, this honestly, and looking at everything and looking at all over, this is number one target. The most direct. Yes, for, yes. And then we have behind Walmart is yes. next. Right. As soon as you get down below this, you're going to have a deeper hole right there. Let's, let's pull this up and let's ride and I'll walk it up through. Okay. I have my boots on. Right. Yeah, because anytime you come down through like a uh, rapids like this, on the other side of the rapids, if you've never ran uh, rapids before, you end up with like a pool on the other side that usually ends up getting deeper. Did you hear that? Listen again, closely. Yeah, because anytime you come down through like a uh, rapids like this, on yeah, because anytime you come down through like a uh, rapids like this, it sounds like a woman faintly moaning, and then saying, "Please help." This probably makes no sense, but let's take a deep dive into the heartbreaking history of the river in this video. Back in December of 2001, Michelle Smith left to do some Christmas shopping for her three children, but she didn't return home that night. Both she and her van were never seen again. While Michelle's husband seems convinced that she just up and left the family and started a new life, her children can't shake the nagging feeling that something happened to her on her way home. In the clip, the guys were searching large bodies of water that Michelle's van could have fallen into during an accident, or even where her body could have been dumped. And while they found no conclusive evidence of Michelle or her car, they did capture some of the most haunting words we've ever heard. Could it be the spirit of Michelle calling for help, begging people to find out what actually happened to her on that dark, misty night 20 years ago? Or could it be something even scarier, somebody calling for help in their last breaths? What do you think? Let us know in the comments section. Bet you've been twitching to the edge of your seat waiting for another dose of creepy ass doll videos. Well, this clip, uploaded by Joanne Brown, UK Ghost Hunter, on YouTube, does not disappoint. The creepiest part isn't even the fact that the uploader is called Joanne Brown, when one of our longtime viewers who owns 14 haunted dolls is also called John Brown. The creepiest part here is that the doll's wig is real human hair. The doll itself is also really old, over 150 years, and has raised a couple of paranormal questions throughout her time in the Brown household, moving on live streams and causing huge EMF spikes. Perhaps it's time we put a cap on doll production, you know, for the safety of everyone's pants. TikTok page Maypa uploaded this mysterious clip, which is a little less spooky, but a hell of a lot more weird. Take a look. Everybody sprints to the woman's aid. Even the dog notices something's up, but when they all dive under the bus to retrieve her mangled body, she's vanished. There is no trace of her left. No blood, no bones, no hair, nothing. 
it's like she was never there at all. It can't be an optical illusion, surely. Why else would the bus driver have reacted in the way that he did? Ghosts, maybe? Spontaneous human combustion? Mind-blowing reflexes? Time travel? Goku's instant transmission? Make your mind up and let us know down below in the comments. Working overnight is bad enough already, but for Jonathan Valak, no amount of coffee could get him through this shift. Although, it's not the tiredness catching up with him. There seems to be something a lot more sinister crawling out of the shadows. ¿Qué haces esto? ¿En qué puedo ayudarte? ¿Qué necesitas? Dime, ¿necesitas algo? ¿En qué puedo ayudarte? Pero no me hagas esto. Unless there's some kind of wind machine perched inside and outside of that locker, there's no way it could have opened and closed like that on its own, right? Jonathan was understandably creeped out and decided to record a little more of his nightly schedule. But that's when he captured some blood-curdling footage. ¿Quién anda ahí? ¿Cómo está la escalera? Escalera caída. Pucha. Aquí no hay nadie. ¿Quién anda ahí? Todo está acá. No hay nadie. Esto está raro. Muy raro. Escuché como si alguien caminara acá arriba. Abajo. ¿Quién es de ahí? No te tengo miedo. Uy, fue puta. No te tengo miedo. Fue puta. Se siente un ambiente pesado, un ambiente pesado, no puedo ni respirar bien. Las cosas que se cayeron, la loción. Sea lo que sea, no te tengo miedo. Para nada te tengo miedo. Ah. 
The violent crashes and bangs echo throughout the building, leaving Jonathan a terrible mess. But when he focuses his camera on the downstairs area, he realises this entity is a little more hands-on than he once thought. Seems like someone else decided to do a bit of overtime. As if doors swinging and lights flickering wasn't enough, now spirits can grab the TV remote. Check out this clip, posted by TikTok page Paranormals Official. The fact that the kid was physically being jolted backwards and that he yelled out what sounded like no and stop makes this video even creepier. Just let the poor kid watch his shows for goodness sake. Your peripheral vision can trick you into believing you've caught a lot of things out of the corner of your eye. Shadows, objects, faces all sorts, but you can usually just brush it off as seeing things. Although, that sense of security quickly flits into thin air when you catch your suspicions on camera. Did you catch it? Look closely at the red arrow next to the curtain when the camera pans around. Either somebody had one hell of a rough night, or there's something sinister lurking behind these kids. Picture this. You're sitting with your friends, a few beers cracked open, someone's got the guitar out, and you're all feeling mellow in the gentle haze of dusk. The last thing you'd expect to see there is a colossal apparition standing just outside the door. Unfortunately, that's just what happened to the people in this video, posted by Mr. Jacob Van Heerden. <laughs> Something is looming over the group through the door, and then, in the blink of an eye, it's gone. The apparition does seem a little weird, but what do you guys think? Real or fake? Let us know. You've probably seen the film The Conjuring, but did you know that the terrifying scenes shot from that film were shot in a real haunted farmhouse? YouTuber Madison Heisen decided to go and check it out but she soon realised she may have bitten off more than she could chew. Alright, so, I guess we can try the spare box. Oh. Open. The door just opened! If this clip were just footage from one angle, we would probably have thrown it onto the fake pile. But we got wide shots of both sides of the door, and there seems to be no one around. So how the hell did that door just open on its own? When we look at the history of the house, this video contorts into something far more sinister though. Paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren were called to the Rhode Island farmhouse multiple times throughout the 1970s by the Perron family. At first, the family noticed small things going missing, bumps and bangs in the night, the standard stuff. But soon after, it took an agonizingly hostile turn. The family learnt of the dark history looming over the farmhouse, murders, hangings, children drowning. But nothing was as bad as the head spirit in the house, Barsheba, 
a spirit who apparently still saw the house as her own. She lived there back in the mid 1800s and was rumoured to be involved in satanic rituals. Soon after this was discovered, Bathsheba's spirit became restless and possessed the mother of the Perron family. Looking back at the clip of the door opening with all this history considered, perhaps Madison's best bet is to hot tail it straight out of there before she suffers the same fate. Have you ever heard a floorboard creak or felt the staircase shake slightly as if someone is walking around even though you know there's nobody there? Well, that's exactly what happened to YouTuber Paranormal Me, except he definitely heard more than a slight bump in the night. Özür kelime etli ait damatım iş yerime ahlak. Özür kelime etli ait damatım iş yerime ahlak. Bismillah. Basamak. Ya ilahe illallah. Allahu ekber. Kim o? Allahu ekber. Bismillah. Ya ilahe illallah. Biri geldi. Karşımda. Yine. Özür kelime etli ait damatım iş yerime ahlak. At first, we thought it was just somebody running up the stairs off camera, but the sound of those inhuman growls and booming footsteps stopped right in the same room, but there was nobody there. Perhaps that building wasn't as abandoned as he once thought. If you're a parent, you know the nightmare that is trying to put your little one asleep at night time. But when the reason behind their sleepless nights is something you cannot see, things get a hell of a lot creepier. That's exactly what happened to Jamie Bonnet when he was waiting for Loki, his two-year-old son, to settle at night. Take a look. Initially, he thought his son was just pointing at a light. However, when he took a closer look at the footage captured that night, he noticed his son looking confused just after waving at the empty corner. Loki repeatedly said the words, Hi, and who's that? As if someone was interacting with him. You know, kids are gonna be kids, but according to Jamie, Loki is extremely shy and never says hi to anyone except to close family members. It turns out that Loki's great grandma passing away from cancer recently, she was 87 years old and very close to Loki, even making the odd comment about coming back as a ghost just to protect her great grandson from the afterlife. They say children are more susceptible to experiencing paranormal activity. Could this be actual proof of that? Let us know in the comments.
This clip, posted by Tiberius Woodbeard, is another one of those blink and you'll miss it type deals. Pay close attention to the doll with the white bonnet and the black pigtails. Kiss? It's not a kiss, Isa. Come on, kiss. <laughs> oh well. She tries. At first, this is just an innocent video of a proud pet owner, but it turns out to be yet another dose of dolly fueled nightmares. Lily the Haunted Doll doesn't seem to be a fan of any loud disturbances. She very subtly moves her head towards the noise in an almost sinister way. You certainly wouldn't want to bother this one, would you? Michael and Heather from the TikTok page Southern Haunts have been living a real nightmare ever since they started engaging with the strange happenings in their home. But as you probably know by now, paranormal activity doesn't start off terrifying straight away. It builds up over time. If there's somebody here with me right now, can you please open the door? Thank you. If you're mad at somebody in this house or mad in general, can you open the door harder? Please? Oh my god, I'm so scared. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am, I got goosebumps, y'all. Thank you. A fair bit of this footage left their viewers sceptical, with comments attributing all of these events to strings, the cat, and even some cheeky editing. To prove their claims, they started setting up a few more cameras around the house, but things got scarier when the cat started to notice something wasn't quite right. For all we know, somebody could be standing just out of shot and giving us the illusion that there's something spooky lurking in the house. But we can't deny that the cat definitely clocked onto something fishy. No pun intended. At this point, you might be thinking to yourself, but this is just a boring ass footage of someone pulling some strings, right? Let's take a look at how it all started then. This was their first mistake. Here. Come on. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Oh my god, I don't want to do this. I'm freaked out now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Was that upstairs? Oh my god. 
<laughs> Heather does try and close the session by frantically saying goodbye, but it was too late. Both their hands flew off the planchette before that, and that's all it takes. Many paranormal investigators seem to believe that removing your hands from the planchette before saying goodbye can open a portal that invites entities into your home through the board, and it seems like something definitely decided to shack up at the top of the stairs. <laughs> After this, the activity ramped up whenever they tried to get a good night's sleep. Shh, shh, turn it down, turn it down. What the fuck is that? I don't know. Shh, shh, shh. Who's there? Oh my God. Holy shit. They would throw open their bedroom door after hearing chaos rack through their kitchen, only to see all their cupboard doors thrown open. Wake up! Wake up! What? There's somebody ringing the doorbell. It's like two o'clock in the morning. Go check and see if someone's at the door. Is anybody there? Oh. I was going crazy. Shut, shut and lock the door. Lock the door. There's no way somebody ran off that fast. And when they opened their door, nobody would be anywhere in sight. and their chairs would be scraped across the floor before all the lights cut out, engulfing them in darkness. But soon, the nighttime activities bled into broad daylight.
shit. Hey. Hey. Do you hear that? You hear the footsteps? Turn the lamp on. The knocking didn't stop, it only got worse. At first, they thought it was only coming from the outside of their home, but they soon came to the dire realization that something was hidden behind each one of their doors. Their house started getting messier and messier, and then the activity became a little less playful and a little more violent. Although this last clip seems a little suspicious, that everything is being pulled the same way and that the lights are off, perhaps it could be obscuring the truth, although the lights are quickly turned back on in the next clip. Some commenters seem to believe that the lights flickering is Morse code. Some say it spells get out and others say it's just gibberish. From this point on, things started to get physical though. We can't see anyone pulling on her hair, but it's definitely moving. Harry Potter's invisible cloak or a real poltergeist haunting? Let us know what you think in the comments. Adventurer Alar is not one to shy away from a haunted house, but this one just about knocked the adventurer right out of him. While exploring a house supposedly home to a violent gym, he came across some activity that chilled him 
to the bone. أعوذ بكلمات الله التمات من شر ما خلق لا إله إلا الله حسبي الله ونعم الوكيل استحلفتكم بالله يا من تسكنون هذا المكان أن تخرجون منه طاعة لله وطاعة لرسوله استحلفتكم بالله يا من تسكنون هذا المكان أن تخرجون منه طاعة لله وطاعة لرسوله مو طبيعي طاعة لا طاعة لله وطاعة لرسوله استحلفتكم بالله يا من تسكنون هذا المكان أن تخرجون منه طاعة لله وطاعة لرسوله أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم استحلفتكم بالله بالخروج استحلفتكم بالله يا من تسكنون هذا المكان أن تخرجون منه طاعة لله وطاعة لرسوله نعم الوكيل ونعم الوكيل حسبي الله ونعم الوكيل حسبي الله ونعم الوكيل فيكم أنا ما أحب المطابخ يا جماعة السلام عليكم السلام عليكم يا عمار المكان أعوذ بكلمة الله ما تبي إن شاء الله ما خلق A fair bit of this activity could be the result of a strong breeze, but something about the general atmosphere of the house makes his blood run cold. And whatever entity was lurking within those walls decided to send Allah out with a bang. Take a look. <laughs> Raw paranormal activity? Foot your someone with too much time in their hands. Leave a comment below with the words real or fake. Indian trail trees have a rich history. Culturally modified, these trees have a distinctive horizontal bent and were used throughout the North American wilderness years ago. The sacred nature of these trees and the grounds that they inhabit strike fear into many these days, especially over on the YouTube channel Geek Girls. They believe they may have desecrated one of these trees by carving into it years ago and that it may be the reason behind the supposed paranormal activity they have been witnessing for years. And when you look into this guy's history, you can see why he's so superstitious. In 2004, I was an embedded tactical trainer. We were looking to set up an Afghan uh, base. My Afghan soldiers were living in tents in Jalalabad. We had these two old Soviet barracks we were looking at remodeling. When we were reviewing the photos, we noticed a whole bunch of orbs and a white shadowy mist. These were not visible to our naked eyes and only showed up after we reviewed our digital photos. Take it as you will, the orbs might just be dust. 
but it was a bright sunny day and I had no explanation for the shadowy, the ghostly mists that were seen in the camera. The Afghans told me many people died on this ground and uh, they were afraid of going in these buildings. These may be haunted barracks. So naturally, when his daughter started noticing some movement within her toys, he jumped at the chance to conduct a little paranormal investigation. Her head turns ever so slightly, and it's not just the American Girl dolls that are moving. Justin Bieber's also performing for the camera. This is a uh, Justin Bieber doll that my daughters like to play with in the bathtub. They make him swim around. I'm not a fan, but my daughters say he moves by himself. I took one video earlier today, and uh, after reviewing it, it actually looked like he was moving. Um, I'm gonna try it again from a different angle to see if I can get a cl more closer to see what's going on. Again, it's just your normal Justin Bieber plastic Barbie-like sort of like Ken doll, but um, wearing black underwear. Okay, um, I'm gonna put him down in the same area where my daughters say he moves around and we'll see what happens, but I'm gonna try to put this time again, you see there's no wires, there's no anything, just a regular bathtub, um, nothing fishy around here, um, you know, I'm not sure, I hate this, this isn't really, sometimes it doesn't really focus or focus on, on something, I don't know, but you can see regular bathroom, nothing funky, um, I'm going to do what I did before, turn on the water, I don't know why, but... It only happens supposedly when the water's running, so who knows if it makes a vortex or something crazy, who knows. Alright, I'm going to try to do it close so you can see Justin Bieber. Um, again, there's no wires, no nothing, nothing funky. Let's put the water on. I'm going to try to get a close-up so this is, I don't want to fall in the bathtub in case it knocks over my camera. I'm putting it down. Um, Okay, um, I'm going to go out here, close the door, and see what happens. Can't really tell if it's moved. Um, kind of does kind of look like it moved. I mean, and I'm not turning off the camera or anything. There's nothing here. So it looks like someone grabbed the doll and slid it across the bathtub, and it seems as though this poltergeist has an affliction with teen heartthrobs. Look what it did with One Direction. Okay, so. We've been having some uh, activity again in the bathroom. Um, something's been moving things even while we're present. Um, this is a tub um, where my daughters take a bath and these are some of their dolls. Um, and not using the Justin Bieber doll, 
Um, we had some activity even last night. My wife was in the tub. Um, we don't have a tub at her master bath. And uh, um, my wife felt something kind of stroking her hair. But what I'm going to show you with these dolls, I'm going to set these up over here. This um, entity seems to like playing with uh, um, male dolls more than female dolls because my daughters have Barbies too. So I have One Direction here and it's, you know, Louis, Zane, um, Niall. I don't know all these guys. I guess Harry. Um, so I have them all set up over here and I'm going to show you that look, there's, there's no strings. Previous Justin Bieber, nobody's in the tub. Um, you see when you pick them up, put them down. Um, other people said, hey, he's got strings, but look, there's no string, no strings. Oops, let me put these back. Um, no strings, no nothing. All right, these guys are back up. Um, so I'm gonna keep it all in the frame. I'm gonna keep them in the frame at all times so you can see there's nothing weird going on. Um, just me here. In my daughter's bathroom with these dolls. That is weird, but um, so we're gonna ask some questions um, and see if anything moves. Is there anybody here with us? No. All right, hold on. Let me get this everything settled so I can get them all. Hold on. Let me let me put this camera down. That was weird. Something just kind of knocked into me um, when I was asking a question. Um, so let me stabilize this thing and let me keep everything in the frame. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on while I get this. All right, I've washed my thumbs. Here we go. Uh, almost, 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 almost. Bear with me now. Um, just getting this, getting this here. All right, I think I got it. All right, is there anybody here with us? Are there any entities here with us? If you are, uh, all right, they're here. Um, dolls moved. Something's going on here. Um, something's really going on here. Um, are you dead? Are, are you dead? Uh, I guess you are, uh, all right, so that means yes, if you move the dolls. Did you die in this house? Take that as a uh, no. Did you die near this house? Uh, doll moved. I'll take that as a uh, yes. Um, are you one years old? Nothing. Are you two years old? Nothing. But two years old? Are you two years old? Are you three years old? And now you're saying you're three years old. Are you saying you're four years old because two plus two? Knock into the dolls again if you're saying you're four years old. Well, let's try a different question. Are you Native American? Are you Native American? Take that as a no. Uh, maybe. Um. Were you murdered? Were you murdered? Uh, I'm done here. Looks like this entity wanted to cut question time short. This scary video was captured when Tide Ekapan, a Thai celebrity, was doing a live interview to give his opinion on the controversial Tangmo's case. This case is all over the news right now after a celebrity in Thailand drowned back in February, sparking a lot of conspiracy among locals. When the clip went on air, responses started pouring in, with people feeling scared to travel alone on public transport at night. What transpired such a jaw-dropping reaction? Watch it yourself.
As you can see, Mr. Ekapan was sitting in a vehicle and didn't seem to be paying much attention to whatever was happening behind his back. But, viewers quickly noticed a mysterious pale figure sitting behind him and peeking into the camera with outright devilish expressions and perhaps sinister intentions. This figure was peeking in and out repeatedly. Of course, the channel uploaded the footage and asked the audience if it was a human. While some locals believe the mysterious figure to be just an elderly lady, others are certain that the face resembles a man who died in the area years ago. But what do you think? Human or ghost? Let us know. The following scary videos were uploaded on TikTok by Bailey, the caretaker of an allegedly haunted theatre. On his first day of training, Theatre staff warned him of strange happenings littered throughout the building, and he was raring to go as soon as he heard it all. He didn't catch much when he first started recording, until a viewer suggested sitting down quietly with his phone. And that night, while looking after the theatre alone, he decided to try it out. And that's when he managed to capture this. Something was leering over the edge of the balcony towards him, but he swears blind he was alone that night. As creepy as it was, this clip doesn't show too much, so he decided to do a little bit more investigation, and while responding to an intruder alarm, he caught something spine-tingling. Someone in here? Hello? Fuck, 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 fuck. Shit. Hey. You're not supposed to be in here. Who is it? Oh, shit. Either there's a very musical rubber or oh, there's something spooky lurking around that piano. But Bailey, yet again, swears that he was the only one around. After this, he decided the nighttime activity wasn't enough, so he began searching for activity in daylight. Ooh, all right, y'all, my heart is racing. Okay, so I see this sometimes. I've been trying to catch this on camera. Nothing over here. I promise there's nothing over here. I'm not doing anything to manipulate this. Watch, look. You see that? This is what I'm talking about. Okay, check it out. I'm gonna get another one. Look, I'm not doing anything, I swear. I'm just standing here. I see this all the time. It only happens, okay, yeah, see? It only happens to this. <gasps> okay, that's the biggest I've ever seen it. Holy shit. Looks like Aladdin left his carpet behind. Bailey was getting more tense as the activity seemed to ramp up. He began to struggle catching specific moments, but he got lucky with this next clip. This is backstage, can't see it very well, but um... What? <gasps> Look, guys, holy shit. I'm turning the lights on, I'm turning the lights on. Oh, shit. A figure seems to be creeping around the backstage doorway. He hears some light footsteps before the stage light shudders on its own. 
Soon after seeing this apparition, Bailey began to hear singing from the main stage. He turns off the lights and hides in the back, in hopes of catching it on camera, and what happened next made his hair stand on end. Something is definitely having a sing-song while it thinks it's alone. But who or what the hell is it when Bailey is the only one supposed to be looking after the theatre that night? A few comments point out that somebody could be hiding out of sight and wailing into the abyss. But Bailey seems a little bit too invested for that to be the case. Another commenter asked Bailey to compliment the singing. But did that make him a friend or an enemy? Let's find out. Your voice is pretty. <laughs> now, a few comments pointed out that this sounded a little suggestive. But if you listen closely, it sounds thankful almost relieved that someone can hear it. The activity died down for a little while after this, but it was nowhere near the end. The security alarm got set off again, and Bailey charged towards the commotion, and what he saw shocked him to his core. Hello. Alright. Wig room. Anyone in here? The bathroom. The shower turns on and sends chills up my spine. Whoa. Someone's in here. Yo, it's midnight. You... Bone starts to glitch. Someone behind that. Somebody down here. Let's go the other way. Yo, these lights were off. Hello? Someone in here, seriously. Going all the way down to the basement at midnight is a fate worse than death according to all horror movies, but Bailey seems to power on through. That is, until he hears the shower turn on by itself, and as he tries to turn the water off, his phone begins to glitch. He paces back towards the centre of the basement, where he noticed all of the lights had been turned on, but after that, he still had more to come. Check out this short but scary video that Bailey caught on the main stage. See that? Look closely at the doorway, right behind him, just behind the curtain. You can see something sprinting past. What's up y'all? As always, if the sensor gets tripped, I film it, just in case we see anything. So here we go. 
It's uh, 9 p.m. on a Saturday. This is my life. So I'm walking through the main stage. <clears throat> yeah, I'll flip it. Ghost light is on. No one in here. Hello. Okay. Two figures, plain as day, stood atop the balcony. Soon they'll be asking Bailey to sing for them. Alright guys, so I work at this uh, old theater and I've been hearing a noise. It's a really beautiful theater, as you can see, if you can see it at all. But I keep hearing a noise in here and there's not supposed to be anybody here, so... Just double checking, but I wanted to film it. Just in case. There's the ghost light. It's a light we keep on for ghosts. <laughs> for people who still remain here and whatnot, and, um, what the fuck? What is that? Hold on, let me get a better look. Just before the camera abruptly cuts off, we can see someone, or something, sizing Bailey up from across the theatre, and they seem to be pushing him further and further towards the edge. But what do you think? Is he safe working there? YouTuber Night Owl 2007 uploaded this scary video showing three students who seemed to watch too many Ninja Turtles episodes when they were young. In other words, they thought it would be a brilliant idea to explore Los Angeles sewers. Turns out, it wasn't. 50 beers. 100 shots. <laughs> Place is no texting I'm uh, guessing we don't have a permit for this. Dude, you can always text if it's Dude, you don't need a permit to to scout shit, but all you need is 50 beers. Nah, they're not gonna care. They're just... There's old people. You can see like the four cops coming out. It's... Yeah, well, that would be good. All right, do you want to look at this guy right here? All right, we got to clear path. This, this is the one right here? Can you open it, open it up. Hold on, I got, we're gonna be golden in about like two minutes. Not even two minutes, like two seconds. Billy, we're golden. Hold on. We're golden. And we are cushion. Hold on, open that shit. All right. Oh my God. There's a dead person out there. That is so oh, fucking people, scary go. looking. Go, 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 there's a car coming. Who's fucking going? Oh man, whose idea was this? All right, hey, someone's gonna have to grab the camera. Oh, hold on. Oh, there's an AIDS. Hold this. Hey, grab my shit. Hey. I do not want to drop this. Dude. That's why I didn't want to grab it. <laughs> just, just, uh, got it? Yep. D E equals pussy. What's up? Nice. What the hell does that mean? Oh, you stepped on my hand. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. There's a cobweb right there. You see it? Yes. Yeah. That's what uh, some of these echoes dude. Jesus Christ. I forgot how scary it was down here. I'm not pointed down the tunnel. Dude, let me down the tunnel. You wow, that's cannot hard. see. How fucking far down it goes. I do not want to get raped by fucking bed bugs. All right, let's get a bearing on things. How's that light working? It's all right. Let's do a cut. All right. There's... Fuck, I'm just Dude, gonna... I feel like I'm in Indiana Jones right now. The problem with the problem with this, it's so small. Fuck. You all right? I <laughs> got cobwebs all in my head. Dude, look at you. When we came up with the idea to shoot a horror movie down here. Well, it's perfect. It's good. Thing I'm gone. like shit in my pants right now. The thing is, we haven't figured out who would be a bad killer because all horror movies have to have a good killer. Five. What do you have? Are these ones you shake? No, you crack it, dude. Crack it. There you go. Have you really never used a lightsaber Sorry. board? Hold on, wait. Hey, turn, turn, turn off the lights. Turn off the lights. Hold on. Dude, this is pretty bright. Who comes out? Ha ha! Uh, who wants to go in there? 
Dude, nobody would do that. <laughs> no matter how millions, much millions. Paid millions, dude. You would have to be dumb. And crazy. Look at it. Just oh, farted. Did you just <laughs> Safety. Dude, the cameraman cannot fart. Did you just hear my voice crack? That's pretty funny. That this one's like a fucking cylinder. Whoa. Give him some more light down there. Did you hear that? I for real just heard something. <laughs> <laughs> this this movie is about to become real. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm scared now. No, give me. <laughs> Dude. Dude. I'm not gonna be sitting on that. Dude, those are rats. Yeah, those are rats. That is a lot of rat. You wanna get another one to get some light in here? I wanna open two. Dude, you gotta gnaw it on I it. I'm fucking gnawing it. Dude, give me it back. I have candy. I have a You know what? Here, that, you, I can bring you one for some Let's see it. Yeah. Did you just do it one yeah. bite? One, one, one bite. One bite. One bite. He's part real world. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, fuck. Now turn off the lights. Okay, turn off the lights. Can you see anything? Yeah. Toss it down. Stop. Dude, it's not bright enough. Right. Crack, here, crack the other one. That was lovely. Alright, let me try to do the other one too. I don't think you're throwing out enough light here. Anything? Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> One of the friends recorded the thrilling experience of walking into the haunted sewers. Initially, they didn't see anything strange happening. Then they decided to turn up the suspense quotient a bit, and it seemed like they paid the price. One of them lit the torch, and at that exact moment, the other friend saw someone peeking through his shoulder and mysteriously looking at them. Scared for their lives, the trio tried to escape, but it isn't too easy to escape true evil, is it? With the number of ghost hunters on the rise, mooching around in a graveyard at stupid o'clock seems to be a pretty common hobby these days. But sometimes, you might stumble upon something you wish you never saw. Much like the guys over at Mysterio JL's YouTube channel, who got a little more than they bargained for on their midnight stroll. Hi. <gasps> Ahí. Ahí se acaba de abrir esa puerta, Colo. Ahí. Puerta. Ahí, 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 enfrente. ¿Cuál, güey? No, no veo ninguna puerta. Aquí, güey. Esto se abrió. Esto se abrió, amigos. Neta. Sí, güey. No lo vi, güey. Ay, señor. No lo vi, güey. Amigos, esto, esta puerta se abrió. ¿Cómo lo ve? Está muy vieja ya, rechina, va. Sí. Creo que sí lo grabé, güey. Es que aquí sigue, güey. Aquí sigue, sí, colombiano. Aquí, aquí sigue. También, aquí sigue con nosotros. Buenas. Wey. ¿Dónde está el muñeco que se movió, güey? Allá está, de aquel lado, güey. Sí, por acá, por este lado, güey. Aquí está. ¿Dónde está? ¿No es ese mono que está tirado ahí? Ese es. ¿Vas a tocar el cuenco aquí? Sí, güey. Amigos, ese mono que estaba ahí, que está tirado ahí, ahorita en una transmisión se estaba moviendo, amigos. Vamos a ver si se hace presente el niño con... Se movió, culo. 
Se movió, güey. Se movió clarito, colombiano. Sí, lo captaste, güey. Sí, sí, lo capté, güey. Estoy viendo ya sombras alrededor, güey. Ay, señor. Ahorita ese mono en una transmisión se estaba moviendo, amigos. Aquí está el niño, güey. Sí. Sí. Sí lo grabé. Sí lo grabé. Niño. Mira. Se está manifestando el niño y agua con su cuerpo. Ay, señor. Mira, 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 mira. Está temblando, ¿verdad, colombiano? Está temblando, ¿verdad? Sí, pues, se está sacudiendo el mono. Mira, 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 mira. No puede, no mames, no mames. Eh, güey, está temblando el mono, güey. Mira, güey. ¿Qué? ¿Qué es eso, güey? ¿Qué? ¿Qué es eso, güey? No manches. No manches. Mira, mira, mira. Bota, güey, ¿por qué? No, 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 seas cañón. Ay, Padre Dios. The pair recorded this clip directly after a Facebook live stream, and they'd certainly had their fill of strange happenings that night. If the bizarre movements of the stuffed toy are not enough to freak you out a little bit, wait until you see what they captured next, right in front of their eyes. ¿Eh? Aquí atrás. Aquí atrás. Colo Niño ¿Qué pasó? Vi algo ahí, güey ¿Dónde? Vi algo que se sumó ahí, güey Vi algo que se sumó aquí en esta tumba, güey Aquí Aquí vi algo que se sumó, güey Te lo juro que vi algo aquí chiquito que se sumó, güey No manches, neta Sí, güey Se movió algo ahí, güey ¿Eh? Se movió algo ahí, güey Se movió algo ahí, güey Vi que se movió algo, güey. No manches. Oh, oh. Ay, no manches. Se escuchó un ruido, güey. Oh. No mames. Oh. No mames. What do you think of these strange events? Could it be a child who's unable to rest? Or is there something fishy going on? Let us know what you think down in the comments. This TikToker woke up to a very good surprise, or so she thought. After seeing a flood of notifications when one of her videos went viral overnight, she quickly turned her attention to the comment section. And that's when she realized that her camera picked up on something terrifying. Take a look. Knowing that she was alone, her viewers fled to the comments section immediately, urging her to get the hell out of there. And while we can't see the other rooms to prove that she was really alone, We've read enough comments over the months to know that some of you guys have seen shadow figures creeping up on you inside your home. But if you never shared your experience, now is the perfect time to do it. Feel free to jump to our comment section. Now we've seen our fair share of strange stuff on CCTV cameras, but we've never seen anything quite like this. Posted to Twitter by Jamie Morsan, this scary video, captured on the 23rd of February 2022, 
just a few hours before Ukraine's worst nightmare, shows something weird falling from the sky in Mexico. The weird floating figures are one thing, but look at the three dogs. They don't take their eyes off of the figures for a second, which leads us to believe that this footage hasn't been edited. At some point, we can see both of the figures materialising into a perfectly shaped human form. So what on earth is going on here? Angels? Aliens? Ghosts? One of Caspersite's pigeons? No idea, but we'll let you decide. If there's light, there's shadow, right? How can we explain this weird video uploaded by Channel Mystery 31 then? Something truly bizarre is at play here for sure. Take a look. Bet you missed it, didn't you? At first, nothing seemed out of the ordinary, but when the ball falls into a dark and somewhat eerie vacant area, and one of the players walks away to pick it up, its shadow seems to completely vanish. Could this be a glitch in the matrix? Or did he just lose his shadow on the way back? We could easily blame the poor quality of the CCTV camera, but we could also clearly see the shadows of everyone else. So how did his simply disappear? Let us know what you think. When you've gone in for an operation, you're already a bit jittery. But imagine how much worse you'd be if the hospital staff were seemingly invisible. Like in this video, posted by Ricardo Orellana. Taken in the operating room of a clinic in Guayaquil, these guys were tethered to the spot after they saw what was going on. The tray seems to be moving in different directions. Pretty creepy, huh? Either the room was especially drafty that day, or there was a ghostly surgery about to take place. There's a long list of reasons as to why you should draw your curtains at night. And this clip uploaded by Hussipe on TikTok is certainly one of them. Hopefully, this is just a scary, made-up clip, but what if it isn't? If this isn't CGI of a demon clawing its way towards the camera, then who is crawling, skinwalker style, towards the house in the middle of the night? The text on this clip translates to, be careful when you go to the forest or the mountains, so it probably followed the original uploader home. If you go down to the woods tonight, you might be in for a paranormal punch in the face, or not. Searching for something else to scratch that spookfest itch? Well, we have just the video for you. Click here to watch it now. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to avoid missing our weekly spookfest. Thanks for watching. Stay in the dark. <laughs>